Hi, in this video I'll be showing you the logarithmic windmill origami model which I invented. It uses a process called decreeping which was invented by Jeremy Schaefer and Chris Palmer. Start out with a square sheet of paper, fold the diagonals in both directions, and then fold the center lines as well by folding the edge to meet the other edge. Now take this edge and bring it up to the halfway line, creasing only in between the two diagonal edges. Only to there, and only to there. So it doesn't go beyond this diagonal line which marks the, the center of the square. Then repeat that on all four sides. Now once you've done that, take it and fold it to the center and then fold this other one at the same time using this as a guideline and that creates a diagonal line right there which you're going to have to squash into place and then do that on the other three corners and then bring them together all at once. And press everything flat and make sure it's not sticking up. Turn it over. And then do the same thing on this central square here. So again, you start by folding it to the middle. And this is a little trickier because we don't want to fold these outside flats. Because that'll put lots of extra creases in which we don't want. And now, again, we collapse them two at a time and put an extra crease over here, extend it all the way, because now that this flap isn't in the way, we won't run into problems. And again, bring them up, both out together and squash it flat and extend the crease. And again. And one last time. And then bring them all together. And make sure that every, everything is nice and flat. Now we're going to decreep that central square right there. And so to do that, we're going to... The decreeping process is where you pull that central polygon right in there and, and bring it out to the top of the model. And so, to do that, we're going to open up the entire model and put mountain folds. These are all valley folds right now. We need to reverse them and turn them into mountain folds. So pinch them. And you'll notice this is also reversing the creases along the diagonals of the square right along these corners. And then take everything and collapse the bottom layer that should stay flat. And then take these points here and press inward while pressing down and twisting a little bit. This is tricky. And it may not work very well the first time. But don't be afraid to crinkle the paper a bit until you understand what's going on. And so then these creases that are already there, we want to reform them by twisting the paper a little bit and pushing down and being and and with each side check to make sure that it's collapsing correctly. And you want to make sure that there aren't any crinkles or paper jamming up. And then press everything flat. 
And you'll notice here we've got another square that we just brought to the top. And to continue the model, we can do the same thing. Fold to the center. This is called pursing polygon or twist fold. And then this process can be repeated indefinitely, creating a fractal of sorts. Hence the, the name logarithmic in the title. And then we do that again, open it up, pinch the creases. And I'm doing it faster this time so I don't go over YouTube's time limit. And then collapse the first layer, the second layer, and these creases should go in much more smoothly than they did the first time. And then this last layer, fold each over, and twist, and press down. And there you have it done again. Then do it a third time and you'll have a finished model. Although, of course, if you want to uh, keep going, it's a fractal, so you can keep going on as many times as your paper will allow. Although, um, most paper will stop it will, will, will get too small to really do that effectively after the uh, fourth or fifth level.